Welcome to part two of our episode on using AutoML Vision. If you missed part one, you'll definitely want to watch that first. I've included a link to that in the description below. Okay, so in part one, we talked about what AutoML Vision is used for and what the data it's expecting should look like. We also gathered and prepared our training data. Now, let's see how to use our data to train our model. That's just as simple as clicking train. I'd recommend starting with the simple model first of the two choices and seeing how it performs. After training has started, go for a walk, grab a coffee. It'll take a little bit of time. And we're back. Once training completes, you'll get all sorts of statistics about your model, which you can use to see how it performed and whether there were some images that were perhaps mislabeled or other aspects worth correcting. And then you can actually click retrain to fix those things. In our case, since we gathered very specific and clean data by design, we got some astoundingly high metrics. However, what really counts is how this model performs on new, previously never before seen data. I took some pictures to uh, try to challenge the model, see what it would re return. Let's try this picture. It contains the bike along with yellow and blue chairs. Uh, okay, so that image was recognized as primarily the bike, but it's got a little bit of yellow and blue chair in it as well. They're in the background and far less prominently featured in this photo, so that makes sense. Let's try another. This picture is mostly yellow chairs, but there's a couple of blue chairs in there, and the model thinks it's seeing ah, mostly yellow chairs with a bit of blue chair. And how about this photo of mostly blue chairs? Yep, that's mostly blue chairs, and it's got a splash of table, and interestingly, uh, a bit of yellow chair, which is not expected. So not everything is going to be perfect with a machine learning model, but so far, this uh, model's top option has proven to be quite good. Now, finally, let's take a look at this picture. Very similar to the previous one, but the front chair is now a yellow chair. What will the model think of that? Wow, look at that. The yellow chair in the foreground really won out big time. It got a way higher score. All right, enough playing around with those pictures for now. Note that this model is already available at this stage to be called via its REST API. All we did was train it, but it actually deployed it for us as well. The service leverages Cloud ML Engine's online prediction capabilities to provide an auto-scaling prediction service that serves a customized model trained on our dataset. The neat part about all of this is that once you have your data pipeline worked out from raw data to well-formed CSVs, the process of training and deploying machine learning models is completely hands-free in that you don't have to write any code. Just click and wait. This allows you to focus on getting your data in a good state and hands off the challenges of constructing a suitable computer vision machine learning model to the service. Thanks for watching this episode of Cloud AI Adventures. And if you enjoyed it, hit that like button down below and be sure to subscribe to get all the latest updates right when they come out. Now I'm gonna go and find me some more colorful chairs to take videos of so I can expand my data set for my AutoML model.